Welcome back to Dream to Do It Travels. I'm Ryan. I'm Erin, and tonight we're in Galaxy's Edge here at Hollywood Studios, and we're going to do something we've never did, done before, uh, and we're going to go try out Oga's Cantina. Yeah, this is the Star Wars themed bar. Uh, we'll show you the drinks that we get. Um, this is one you have to have a reservation for if you go on like the My Disney Experience and all that. Um, they'll kind of guide you through on what to do. But you cannot go to Star Wars Land and just walk up and say, I want to come in. Yeah, sometimes they might have a walk-up wait list if they're not super busy, but kind of as a rule of thumb, you need a reservation. Yeah, this, this place books out fast. So you're going to want a reservation if this is important to you. But uh, come along with us and we'll show you what it's all about. So I can taste the sweetness from like the pomegranate. Um, I will say the glass it has a, a thick rim. It's kind of hard to drink out of. The ice kind of gets in the way, but it is a good tasting drink. So, top coffee almost gonna be for me. I like that. It's pretty smooth. It's really fruity. I can taste like the uh, like the lily corn. Kind of like a like a punch. It's good. You can taste the citrus in there. I like it. The mug is super cute. It's not plastic. It's ceramic, it's a nice mug. She said just go ahead and move it. She would wrap us up with a new one to go. So we would have to take a sticky one with us. It's a nice souvenir. Mm -hmm. Okay, like I said, this one's non-alcoholic. This is a cliff dweller. The first thing I get is a ginger ale.
Get a little bit of this. And a little bit of this. And a little bit of this. It's got like some fizzing action going on. Yeah, this one looks really cool. I'm interested to try this. <laughs> Should we score another one? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Oh, I don't know if it's going to be good. Let's see. 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 I wonder what makes it fizz like that. Um, there's like dry ice in the bottom. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Maybe you need a straw. What do you got? What is it? Yeah, it takes a little stuff to drink. I don't know what it's like though. But it is. Like it. It's good. It's very sweet. I don't know. That's probably the least. And we got one other drink. There is a two drink minimum. Um, a two drink minimum and a 45 minute minimum Canteen. What did you think, Erin? Uh, it was a really fun environment. Um, you don't feel like you're in Disney. It was like Disney after hours in there. It was like music was pumping and people were having a good time. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, this is real good. Um, kind of loud. If you don't like a loud environment, that's probably not for you. But it was very fun. They keep it light. And, uh, you know, it's a bar, but yet it's, it's still family friendly. Family friendly. Every, the service was great. Very friendly. Um, you know, you're at a table with other people. Um, kind of gives you a chance to interact with some different guests and stuff, but it was a really good time. We would definitely come back. And there are out on uh, non-alcoholic drinks as well. Yeah. So if if alcohol is not your thing, uh, one of the drinks we ordered it was non-alcoholic. Um, so don't think that it's a bar. I can't go there because you, you still can, and you can bring your kids. Um, it's like I said, it's family friendly. It's a good environment. Um, do you need a reservation? So if that's something that you want to do, make sure you book this. 
and uh, the drinks are pre-mixed so they're not uh, that's one thing I noticed they're not like a strong uh, pour or anything so if uh, if you're interested come give it a try it's a good time but I think we're gonna wrap this up if you would please like comment subscribe and ring that notification bell and just remember you can do it. Bye. See you guys. One thing I can say is by making a late reservation, we made it right after park closure. So one of the nice things is, is you get to walk out of the park and you basically have Star Wars land or the whole park all to yourself. So uh, one thing to keep in mind. It's really beautiful to see it all lit up at night. Nobody else around. It's pretty cool.